Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to my long shot movie review. Uh, I'm a little late with this one. I saw it about two weeks ago. Busy with school stuff. And anyways, this movie stars uh, Seth Rowan and Charlie Theron. It is a comedy about uh, a guy who uh, starts working for his former babysitter, uh, which is Seth Rowan. Uh, now, I, I'm not really too familiar with the writers. This was written by Jonathan Levine. And uh, Jonathan Levine, I'm not too familiar with his work. I don't think I've really seen anything that he's done. But I, I think I can confidently say that I think this is Seth Rowan's best work. And I didn't know... I know Charlize Theron has done comedies before. Like, she did, like, Thousand Ways to Die in the West. And she did... What was that one? A growing Up or Adulting or something like that. Um, and she was good in that, but she is super good in this one. She's 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 basically the Secretary of State uh, running for, uh, trying to become the president. And she hires Seth Rogen, that she used to babysit for, to be a writer. And Charlize just works way too hard. She falls asleep standing up. Um, she has no life. Um, everything is about work, about work. O'Shea Jackson Jr. is in this as well, which is Ice Cube's kid. He was in, um... He was in uh, uh, Straight Outta Compton. I thought he was great. I really liked him. If I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be smart. This is a very smart movie. It's written very cleverly. Um, there's times I think, like, oh, they're going to do this. There were a lot of surprises in this movie. You know, sadly, this movie got buried by the by the Avengers. But the odd thing about it is they talk about the MCU often. because And there's scenes from, from um, certain MCU movies where they're sitting down watching it. Because Seth Rogen's character is kind of a nerd. And so he watches all these Marvel movies and he talks to Charlize about it. And she actually kind of remembers him from when they were kids. They were neighbors, actually. They went to the same high school and all that stuff. And uh, all the supporting cast is good. Um, you know, I guess Indy Circus is in this. And I didn't know. Um, as well as Anders, Alexander Skarsgård. There's a bunch of people in here. And I was like, oh, oh okay. Um, I thought the chemistry between Charlize and Seth was great. The story is good. Um, yeah, there, there's so many surprises, and a lot of times I was like, oh, they're going to do this, they're going to do that, because you're used to seeing movies like this, but they don't. It's written very, very well, and executed very, very well. On the Star Strider scale, I give this movie an 82. This is one of the better comedies that I've seen. I think you could have gotten a better, um date to release um just so close to avengers it just it just got it just got rolled over um but this might be seth rowan's best work he's he he doesn't play the stupid stoner i mean uh yeah he's always doing that stuff but he it's not the same and there, there were some character choices that were made that were really good and really grounded the movie i would have hated for it to to go in some stereotypical stupid way it would have just been disappointing. Um, anyway, I highly recommend this movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, if you like Seth Rogen, um, go see it. And go see it if you just like comedies in general. Um, I think this movie is a is a really good watch. And uh, yeah, I I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, yeah, I think I said all I need to say. So, anyways, uh, let me know what did you guys think. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Like and subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.